What if you could wake up every morning to a list of perfect job opportunities already filtered for you and each one has a personalized pitch ready to send? No more endless scrolling, no more staring at a blank page. Just set this to run on a schedule and you'll have applications ready for you to go every single day. By the end of today, you'll have an N8N automation that automatically scrapes jobs from Upwork filters them for relevance to you and crafts perfect icebreaker messages to your potential client, all on autopilot. If you're building an AI automation agency, this is your unfair advantage. This is what lets you slide in before the competition has a chance. So let's hop into N8N and let's get started. Let's run this through from the beginning. We're scraping up work. We're cleaning up all the data. Our job filter is going to work, filtering the jobs for us based off of the criteria that we set. We're filtering this only for jobs that we've determined are actually relevant and worth our time. Then we stored all the information along with the icebreakers inside of Airtable. We can come in here. We see the original job title, the job description. You can see the budget, any of the skills necessary, where the client is located, an icebreaker message that we can literally copy and paste into our application, and then a link to the original job posting. And like I said, we can just go ahead and we can click this, and this will actually take us to the job posting on Upwork. If you want access to the automation that we built today and you want to learn how to scale your AI agency to $5,000 plus a month, hop into the build room where you have access to all of my resources for N8N and make.com, as well as a six month course on how to build your personal brand and expert positioning. I'll leave a link in the description where you can join. There's a couple of things that we're going to do today. The first thing that we're going to do today is we're going to scrape Upwork using this Upwork scraper from Rapid API. I'll leave a link in the description where you can sign up. Now I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to click subscribe to test up here. Basically, you can make 500 requests per month, all for free. So I'm just going to go ahead and click subscribe. I love Rapid API because it's super easy to work with. It even sets up your requests for you. Cool. So it looks like one other thing we want to do in here is we just want to have these search parameters. And I'm just going to set this to say automate so that we're searching for automation jobs. And we can change our limit to let's just change this to something like 30 for now. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this. I'm going to hop back into NADN real quick. I'm going to set up a manual trigger with a plus. I can type HTTP to create an HTTP request and I can just import the curl command right here. So now I don't have to figure out how to fill in all this information myself. So this is great. I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to click execute step to see what type of data we're working on. Cool. So we start to see the output here, automation and workflow, integration specialist for real estate, some of the skills that are required, project budget, hourly minimum, 15 to 20, not a great rate for this one, but this is cool because it looks like it has a lot of the information that we actually need. I'm kind of surprised it only came out with four items. So maybe I can up this to say something like 200 and maybe I can get a few more items from it. Cool. So I went ahead and I just changed the search term to automation and it actually came up with 13 items instead of four. So I think that's a little bit better for us to work with. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pin this data so we don't have to keep scraping Upwork and using our credits. So let's go ahead and we're just going to go rename this scrape Upwork. So there's a couple of things that I think we want to do. I think we want to scrape the job for relevance to us. We can do this with an AI filter. We can go ahead and we can filter them for budget and things like that. And I think then from there, we want to be able to store the jobs inside of Airtable along with an icebreaker message for our potential client. So I went ahead and I created basically this AI agent prompt for us that we can use to filter the job description. So it just says you're an intelligent job filtering system for an automation engineer who builds outreach systems, CRM systems, project management systems, no code integrations, and API integrations. Here are some relevant skills and platforms that I like to work with, Airtable, ClickUp, ChatGPT, Make, Monday, Google Sheets, and maybe obviously we should add N8N to this, API integration, system automation, some things that are not relevant so it knows what to filter out, some filter criteria, some example projects which we'll use to generate the icebreakers, the expected output format, some guidelines for the icebreakers, and then we'll use this user template prompt. So this is great. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to copy the system prompt first, come in here, and we'll go back to N8N, and I'm just going to type in basic, and I'll use a basic LLM chain for this. So I like using this because this will give you options if you come in and you download this workflow of which kind of LLM you want to use, if you want to use Claude or Gemini or DeepSeek or whatever, it's really up to you. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to paste this in. And I actually want to paste this as an expression just because I think the formatting looks nicer. Cool. So I'm just going to also copy this user prompt template. And I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to paste this into the user prompt. And I'm going to come back into the system message real quick. And I'm just going to copy this output format because I know I'm going to want to require the specific output format so that we get predictable results. So there's a couple things we need to do. I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to add the OpenAI chat model. And GPT-40 mini should be fine for this. And then here, I'm going to add the structured output parser, and this is where I'm going to paste in the expected format. This should give us more predictable results, which is really helpful when we're passing data down the line. Now I'm just going to call this job filtered. Go ahead and click save. 
And I think there's one more thing that I want to do. And I think I want to use the N8N code node for this. So I think it'll actually be really helpful. So basically here you can see we have the job title, the job description, the budget and rate. And let's look through here to see if there's anything else that might be helpful information for us. So the locations might be important. I think we want to pull out the URL. Let's come through. Let's see here. Maybe the skill is necessary. I think that might be helpful. And if I scroll through here, I think maybe the client country, I think is helpful too. So I think that's really helpful. Here's the description. Okay, great. So what we can do is we can actually use ChatGPT to create some really helpful code for us. I don't know how to code, but I love using ChatGPT for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm just going to copy the JSON format and I'll come into ChatGPT and I'll say, I need an N8N code node function. It needs to extract the job title, description, budget range. What do we say? Client location. And what, was there anything else that we said in here? Uh, the URL for the original posting. I think that's it. Budget or budget range, my location the URL for the original posting. Now I'll just say, here's the input format. So now basically Upwork is always going to return this format for us. And so we can actually have ChatGPT create a nice little bit of code for us to basically process this data so it's easier for us to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click copy here and come back in to N8N, click the plus here and type in code to have the code node. And I'll just paste in this code node here. And let me go ahead and let me click execute step. And I know there's one thing that we're actually going to need to change. So we have this. So we have an error. I'm also just going to paste this error in. And I know I'm also going to say, I will have multiple items coming into this node. And I, and I need it to run once for each item. And so basically you can see, if we come into here, you can see we have run once for all items, which is going to process all 13 of these items as a single item. But instead what you actually want is run once for each item. So it's actually going to process each of the 13 items individually, which will allow us to pass them one at a time through the rest of the flow. So let's see what happens now if we copy this. I always tell people that problem solving and troubleshooting is 90% of the job. So you're going to get errors like this constantly. And just knowing how to work with tools like ChatGPT to fix them is going to be one of the most valuable skills you can possibly have. So let's try this one more time. So after a little bit of back and forth, I got this to work. And you can see here, we now have all 13 items. We have the title, the job description, the budget, which is not specified, the client location, and the URL. I think, I think there's one other thing that I want to do is I actually want to extract all of the skills. So I'm just going to come in here. I also want to extract all of the skills into a comma separated list. Cool. So let's try that. Paste this in. Great. So this is super helpful for us to kind of assess the jobs later on. Cool. So now what we can do is we can actually pass this information to our AI job filter. So I can come in here and filter the job title and we can just go ahead and we can start passing in this information. Job title, job description, budget info. And I will say that if the budget is not specified, you probably don't want this job. And why don't I say skills? Because maybe having the skills will actually be helpful here. Cool. So now I can go ahead and I can click execute step. And this is actually going to run once for all 13 items. You can see here we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. See, this is racking it up for 13 items. So you can see here, this result is false because it's primarily focused on lead generation, outreach, and sales support rather than the system building, automation, and optimizing workflows. It does not align with the criteria. Cool. You can see here, this job says true. Focus primarily on building, optimizing, and maintaining automated workflows, specifically using tools like N8N, Make, or Zapier, which matches the skills and experience required. Cool. So this is super helpful. Let's go ahead and name this clean data. Always helpful to name everything. So basically what we have here, you can also see for this job that's true, this actually generated a little icebreaker for us. Confident on the man you're looking for. I have extensive experience building multi-step workflows using Zapier to connect various tools and automate processes, similar to what you need for your real estate investment companies, automation, and workflow integrations. Great. So now what we can do is basically we can just go ahead and we can store all of this data inside of Airtable. So I'm going to come into Airtable. I'm going to create a new spreadsheet from scratch or a new database from scratch. Let's go ahead and call this Upwork, Upwork Job Scraper. Great. Table one is fine. And let's think about the fields that we need. So here we need job title. I'll go ahead and I'll make this long text because I feel like sometimes it works better. We'll say job description. And I can delete the assignee. I don't think I need any attachments. 
or the attachment summary. To the right, we can say budget, say skills. We will say client location, client location. I will say insert to the right, and we'll make this a URL, original URL. And then what I like to do here is I actually just like to turn this into a button. So if I come down here and I go down to button, I can actually select this as job posting. And for some reason, I always like this blue and white. And if I just come in here and do the bracket, I can actually select the original URL and turn this into a nice little button. So I can just call this job posting. You can see here that these are grayed out because we don't actually have anything in this field. But once we have information here, this will all link up and we'll actually just be able to click this button and go straight to the original posting. And the status here, we can go ahead and we can edit this field and we can just call this intake and we can call this applied. And why don't we just go ahead and we can call this one if we want a job or we can say declined. And we'll make this thread and intake we can make, I don't know, yellow or something like that. And we'll make applied. Who knows? Switch the colors around. Whatever. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to Airtable. I'm going to do create a record. And I'll select Upwork from this list. And we'll select the table. That's table one. Now we have all of these fields here. So if I come into the clean data, come into job title. Oh, there's one field I obviously forgot, which is duplicate this. We obviously need to put in the icebreaker message. Cool. And if I come in here, you can see we have this little error because the columns are outdated because we added that one. Now we have all the all the information we need. So description, budget, skills, client location. The icebreaker URL is going to come from here. The original URL will come from here. The status we will set to intake. So one other thing I want to do here is I just want to add a filter so that we can actually just keep the items that we actually want to apply for. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pipe in the result is equal to, and I'm just going to say true. And if I run this once, you can see here that basically we're only keeping these two items because the system has determined these are worth us applying to. And we've actually discarded 11 other items. So now I can come in here, connect this up, and we have all the information ready to go here. Let's run this through from the beginning. We're scraping up work. We're cleaning up all the data. Our job filter is going to work, filtering the jobs for us based off of the criteria that we set. We're filtering this only for jobs that we've determined are actually relevant and worth our time. Then we stored all the information along with the icebreakers inside of Airtable. We can come in here. We see the original job title, the job description. You can see the budget, any of the skills necessary, where the client is located, an icebreaker message that we can literally copy and paste into our application, and then a link to the original job posting. And like I said, we can just go ahead and we can click this, and this will actually take us to the job posting on Upwork. So here you go. So this is the original job posting, and we can go ahead and we can apply right here. If you thought this video was helpful, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hop into the build room if you want access to this workflow and the Airtable database or any of my other resources. I'll see you inside.